Welcome to our Funky Daily Devotional. Today's sermon is on the Epistle of Jeremiah 6 and is titled The Futile Nature of Idol Worship and the Emptiness of False Gods. Today's acronym is IDOL, I D O L, rejecting idols and embracing true God. I identify the false. Just as Jeremiah warned against the gods of silver and gold in Babylon, we must identify the false idols in our lives. These can be anything that we prioritize over our relationship with God, whether it be material possessions, status, or even our own desires. D. Distinguish the true God. Jeremiah emphasizes the inability of idols to speak, see, or act. In contrast, we serve a living God who hears our prayers, sees our struggles, and acts on our behalf. Distinguish the true God from false idols by recognizing his attributes of love, mercy, and power. Um, the, uh, the Gospels uh, say that um, you can tell a spirit by its fruits, right? So if you're looking for the Holy Spirit and you're looking for God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you look for love, joy, peace, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, meekness, and self-control. Against these, there is no law, right? You can't have too much love. You can't have too much patience, right? Um, oh, overcome temptation. Despite the allure of idols, we must resist the temptation to worship them, just as Jeremiah urged the captives in Babylon to avoid associating with the worshippers of false gods. We must guard ourselves against the influences that lead us away from God. And L, lift up true worship. Instead of bowing down to idols in silver and gold, let us lift up true worship to the Almighty God. Let our hearts be filled with praise, adoration, thanksgiving for His goodness and faithfulness in our lives. Closing prayer, let us bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Abba Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, thank you for revealing the emptiness of idols and surpassing greatness of your love. Help us to identify and reject the false gods in our lives and to wholeheartedly embrace you as the one true God. Give us strength to overcome temptation and lift up true worship to you, Yeshua, in all that we do and say. May our lives be a testimony to your glory and grace. Um, and as scripture has said too, that we may be in the world, but we're not of the world. We're of a heavenly kingdom, and so we better act like it. And I pray this in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, I pray, amen and amen. Shalom and shalom. May God keep you and bless you and, and love you. Bye-bye for now.